Alright, against my better judgment, let's talk to Adelaide here. There you are, darling. Why, the dodge is time trying to find his venue. Are you sure my adoring fans will be able to make it here? I think you're mistaken. I live here. You live in an autograph booth? Wait. This isn't a venue, is it? Unless the performance is watching me sleep, then no. Dozens of responses to that, but I don't want to give you the wrong idea. I'm not that type of girl. Instead, let me ask a question. Why do you have a table with my name on it? <laughs> it goes with my camp. In that case, I feel like you could have left the name off of it. Let me start this again. As the table says, I am Adelaide. And as you may have guessed from my alluring charm, I am a performer, a showgirl, a shining star shooting across the night sky from Atlantic City to Broadway, or wherever New Broadway is since the Big Apple is a big crater. I was going to sell autographs New York's a crater. as I travel, but that'll be difficult without a place to work out of. Would you do me the pleasure of letting me stay here while I sort this out? If I wanted to, I would lure you in with a treat before snapping your neck. Hmm. Squeak, squeak, my little nose. Uh oh. Kidding. Why am I? Guess you'll need to find out. But back to the matter at hand. <laughs> Aside from my obvious benefits of looks and personality, I am a performer, though I don't do private shows anymore. Hmm. I'll figure something out. Maybe if you're open-minded, I can teach you about human-robot interfacing. Oh, you need to chill. What does my adoring public yearn to know? You'll need to narrow it down, darling. Anyone who could talk about me, did talk about me. Operation Bluebell. Now, why does that phrase ring a metaphorical bell? Let me check something. Keyword accepted. Unlocking. That unlocked something about my last performance. And about Frankie. Whom? Who the hell is Frankie? Frankie is... Or was... My biggest fan. She, she came to all my shows. And would always stop by after to give me flowers or... Suggestions for my next song. What happened? Frankie was... A girl that... Got tied up with the wrong made man. Ah. I don't know if it was a Capulet type situation, but I know the family wasn't happy he was following her instead of the dog. My boss told me to invite her to a rehearsal performance. Nobody else but me on the stage and her in the seats during the chorus of my second song. Everything went black. Oh. And when I resumed functions, she was dead. It was oh. crystal clear that my laser killed her. No one was going to trust the smoking gun's innocence, so I skipped town. The paper said something about a remote receiver. I don't know what letter I picked up. I tried to be more than a weapon. But I guess I can't escape where I am. <laughs> I'm not gonna kick you out if that's what you're wondering. But the 
there's a chance it'll happen again. I don't know how I could handle it if I hurt you too. You just met me. You just met me five seconds ago. I think it may be best if we keep a bit of distance between us. At least until I can move beyond this remote control issue. But enough about wallowing in the past. The show must go on. Back to my most important role. You know her. You love her. It's Adelaide. Oh, really? Well, don't keep a girl waiting in anticipation. <laughs> Get at you with a hammer, so. <laughs> Enter keyword ice cream. If you insist. Initializing software deletion. Fascinating. It seems that. My memory banks have freed up some space. I have many questions, but the most pressing can be summarized by... How did you do that? I think I heard about that working and somewhere I before. You were flipping through my manual to try and find my centerfold. Oh. Regardless. Thank you, darling. I don't want to seem ungrateful. But, um, why did you help me? Because I'm yearning to get in your servos. No. <laughs> you need to chill. Because honestly, I'm just waiting for the Equinox to start. <laughs> oh, God. I just read the options. Well, we, we got this far, sure. Honey, I'm flattered. Really, I am. But look at me. Is the screen gonna go black? That'd be first Fallout 4. Now here. <laughs> no. God damn it. Oh god, it did. Well. <laughs> I aim to please. <laughs> Oh god. I thought I got rid of the red kill. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh good lord. Is it time for the Equinox yet? No. Is it hot in here? Or is it what Yo. can I do for you? Or to you? <laughs> you need to chill. Let's see what you got for sale. And what's your pleasure? You apparently. Autolade's autograph. That's funny. Ah, bolt lead, bulk oil. Oh, that's actually really that's actually really nice. I am probably irradiated. Oh, that's sweet. I'm at max caps. That is actually very useful. Do you sell gunpowder by chance? Excellent. You mentioned something about interfacing. I'm gonna need you to not. Just give me the word and I'll help you figure out ways to sweep any robot off their feet, treads, or thrusters. The only one thrusting is me. Let's get, let's get the, let's let's stop. <laughs> let's stop. You do that too much in a day and you'll go blind. 
I don't need I don't need to see the price tag anyway. Uh, <clears throat> I'm at max caps. My favorite subject. What would you like to know? What's Atlantic City like? It's beautiful. And right at the center, radiating a good percent of the beauty was Lil O Ming. The casino was like a crown. And I was its jewel, mesmerizing any that could see it. I loved the dazzling lights near the boardwalk. But eventually I wanted to find the truly blinding lights. Went north to Broadway. But it seems the bright lights I heard about came 20-something years earlier and were accompanied with mushroom clouds. Yeah. How does an Assultron become a performer? By being the best there is, darling. It's Still better than Cleo. God damn! Okay. Was destiny. This body was manufactured to kill. And that's what I do every time I get on stage. That really does not answer my question, but we're already here. Actually continue, I like the attention. I am well aware that my metal was red hot the day I was molded. Oh yeah. Didn't name Galatea, but baby, I was perfectly crafted. Where do you get your name? I was going to be called Hot Damn after the first words of my manufacturer, but Miss Damn doesn't sound very nice. <laughs> That's funny. Seems that I was just named after some doll. I meant to say I don't know much more than that. Huh? Shit happens. Aren't assault trons dangerous? Do you have any idea how hard I needed to work to overcome that stigma? Do you know the hours spent calibrating my routine just so I don't decapitate someone when I do a can can? <laughs> to get people hot and bothered with my performance rather than my laser. But the laser's OP, alright? I need you protecting the camp, if nothing else. Because there's no one else like me. Well, you're right about that. Waiting, but still cut deep. I'm not a robot without emotions. I'm not just what you see. I try to be better. Do you, uh, do you know the can-can <laughs> comment is funny, though. Like your mother warned you about. God damn it. God damn it. I've always enjoyed the personification of luck in error. Permissions not found. Especially when it was performed by... Wait. That's not right. Scanning. It seems that... When I left Atlantic City, I must have left the permissions for some sort. Oh, of we have a reason to go to the city now. to be difficult for my next show. Can I go find them? That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> we'll do that. We'll come back to you <clears throat> in a bit. from moths to bugs. Get that Brotherhood of Steel music out of here. Oh, we starting, starting. I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No, oh, I'm not too late. It 
would be cool to get a gamma gun with the neurotoxic uh, dust. Like have it shoot the red beams. That uh, have it shoot like red beams with the little moth things around them. Like the like the buff the cultists give to people around them. Never mind. I'm just not gonna try. I guess. Claude Rain still over here? No. Well, that's what I call a parting gift. Ooh, the music. Had been prepared. The summoning shall commence once each of the piles has, has been, been lit. lit. Go, ignite <clears throat> the flames as I release the dust of our wise one into the air. Y'all do that, and then we're gonna come over here. And wait. Ah. Ah. The flames of our pyres ignite the moth dust. It offers enlightenment, however brief it may be. Oh, never Breathe, mind. Breathe, children. Breathe. Banana. See the world now through his eyes, children. Let the dust. Take a deep breath every time. And fumes. <sighs> it's just, it's a real refreshing breath to do it in tandem with them. Let it show you the true. The red man. The red man, he's blue. <laughs> Poor guy. No. You must protect us. Our guest may refuse our invitation. The demon ones approach the church. Slay them, them children. children. Offer no quarter. quarter. The bridge's pyre is the heretic's next target, children. You must keep it safe. <sighs> Yep. I know you see me. Thanks, pal. Let's protect it. it. <clears throat> Seems like um, all the good stuff happens over here. These unwavering fools attack from all sides. Leave no pile unguarded. Leave no heretic left standing. It's a sheep squatch.
I was hoping a Mothman would pop up while I was sitting there, but I guess not. Maybe he's over at the chapel right now. <laughs> there he is. Do you feel it? The wise one draws near. Okay. He awaits our signal. <laughs> Weird that the Mothman hops around and then just fucks off after a while. We must invite him to us to show him our oh, love well. and our gratitude. Dance. <sighs> Come on. Shout, expel bile from your gut. Show him. God damn it. Shall you hear us, wise one? Oh, how I just want to get up. I can't. I honest. I, I, I literally cannot. Did our invitation. Why does jumping take stamina in this game? It's obnoxious. Come, children. Allow the ah. one to gaze upon you. Oh, there's a plan for it now. Interesting. Cool. Alright, back to Adelaide. <laughs> back on over this way. <clears throat> um... There we go. I have returned. Oh. Hello there. Hello there. What you? Where were we? You either have to believe in destiny or you've got to believe in yourself. I believed in myself. And before long, a talent scout from New Jersey believed in me, too. That's how I was discovered. Sure, I was deactivated in a military warehouse, but that's semantics at this point. That's what you're needing to adjust. I a very specific diet, consisting of a variety of overlapping personality holotapes. Some went down easier than others. Submissive and reserved didn't suit my palate, but extravagance complemented my tastes. Very interesting. You know what? I actually did. There was an annoying comedian who wanted under my paneling, but he only succeeded in getting on my nerves. <laughs> Thankfully, he's still in Atlantic City. Was it Joey What's-His-Face? What's the perfect date? Checking my historical data, I'd say July 5th. You get the warm summer weather, and the party just rolls from one day to the next. What about dinner and his show? Darling, I am the show. And I feast off of attention, so be sure to fill me up. You need to chill out, is what you need to do. You need to chill. Check. Oh, I mean, before you, no one 
was interested in showing me romance. It was just something I sang about. You need to they chill. To use me for a show and a weapon. Or I think they were more interested in a screw and bolt. <laughs> okay, that's funny. To be honest, this isn't the glitz and glamour I'm used to. But I quite like just spending time here with you. Well, ain't you a sweetheart? Keep eye contact. I don't see anything worth looking at. <laughs> Damn. I kid, I kid. <laughs> the central eyes are more for looks than looking. I've got gizmos and gadgets galore to keep track of things. I mean this in the least disturbing way possible. As soon as you're near, I can detect your direction, distance, and heart rate. All without looking at you. Oh. Eye contact while talking is more of a human formality, so sometimes I don't realize I'm not doing it when one on one. Either that, or I'm afraid of you getting lost in my beautiful obsidian optical receptors. Take your pick. Fair enough. <clears throat> Fucking. Check. You know what a date is, right? Recalculating. It's a small fruit that hasn't been seen in twenty something years. <laughs> That's funny. The stage is yours, so to speak. Don't miss me too much. She's just weird enough that I kinda like her. And I mean in terms of, like, weird, hokey, fallout science fiction shit, just to be clear. I mean, I've got nothing but robots here. May as well keep up the theme. Benefits of wasteland <sighs> Never in short supply of red frosting. You need to calm down. <laughs> I'm surrounded by quirked up robots. <laughs> His voice needs to be, uh, raised a little bit. He said salt or sugar, I'm sure it's fine. How is it that the least weird robot in this area is him? <laughs> Why is the ground so dark? Oh yeah, then you got this thing, but I made that. <laughs> An analog horror thing. Okay, this is not a good place to put you, but I don't know where I want you. <laughs> what are you doing, Adelaide? Oh. Oh, she glitched because she can't, like, move out of that area. Well, here, let's put that... Actually, let's put that there, and then we can put him back over here in the corner. And then that should give her enough room to move, maybe? Or do I want to put the wine rack here? And then move you here. I do wish there was a juggling emote. <clears throat> I need to put steins on that. <sighs> so much to do. <laughs> Chill. I could put her in here, but I don't know. Mm -mm. 
I guess I could put her in here. 